Alright. All right. So you know how they say everyone always remembers their first. Well, I definitely remember my first time. The first time I've ever made cookies. With <laughs> <laughs> my mom, I was about four years old and my brother was there. He was like seven and we're baking cookies for my dad about to come home from work. So, let me show you. There's me. Oh, I am four. My brother's son is my mom. We were about to make cookies for my dad when he came home. And like, I, we were baking and then we were done. So I tried my brother's and I was like, all right, this is good. My brother tastes my cookies. He was like, oh my gosh, these are the best cookies ever. They're like Mrs. Fields. And I was like, what's Mrs. Fields? He's like, you don't know Mrs. Fields? I'm like, no, whatever. But, but ever since then, ever since I was baking, I always thought back to that time and I was like, oh, like family time, I love cookies. But today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make some cookies. They're not peanut butter cookies, not like boring chocolate chip cookies. But I'm going to teach you how to make Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookies. So, here's my cookies. Oh, there you go. Here's a picture. And my greens. <laughs> so first you're going to need two bowls, one for the wet and one for the dry. First we'll start with the dry, you're going to need right here, three and a half cups of flour. So. <laughs> 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 you're going to need right here a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. So. And then you're going to mix that up a little bit and then put it to the side. And here in the wet bowl, you're going to get the two sticks of butter, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, and a cup a cup of regular sugar. So these. Put in here, and here. And this part, it's like really hard. Like, your arms can get tired, but you know, since I work at Baskin Robbins, I got like a strong butt. Right <laughs> <laughs> it is really hard. And then, after that, you're going to get the two eggs right here. And then you're going to get a teaspoon of vanilla, put it in here, and mix it up again. Once you've done that, you're going to have to get a cup and then get one scoop of your dry mix and put it in here. And then mix. And then you'll do that again until all your dry mix is gone. You're going to keep mixing and mixing. It's going to get like really hard and tough. And you'll, that's when you'll start to see that it looks like cookie dough. But then once it looks like that, you'll grab all your chocolate, as much as you want. It says here a 10 ounce bag. I just feel like, and so I like, I'm like, oh, that looks like you know chocolate. <laughs> I love steak, so I put a lot. So you're going to mix mixing and mixing. And that's the time you'll grab your, your dough, and you'll get it, and you'll roll it into a ball. Grab like this. You'll get your cookie. Put it on top, grab your mix, and make another one. And here's like this. And then at the edge, you'll pinch the sides together. I'll show you the sides. There you go. So you'll grab the ball, and then you'll pinch them on the sides, and it'll look like this. You put it on your cheek like that. So you do it again. Grab another one. Again. And put it on the side. And then you put it all like that. And then you put it in the oven. Don't forget to preheat at 350. <laughs> <laughs> Don't preheat at 350 for 9 to, 10, 9 to 13 minutes. And then while you're waiting, you know, you can clean and stuff, but that's boring. So you can, like, wash you. That's what I do. Like, you might burn, so be careful, like, to not burn it. But, like, a quick, like, story. I love to bake. Ever since, like, in high school, I would, like, do, like, almost every week, you know, so I, like, wouldn't have to do homework or stuff. I come to school with like cookies. And the best part for me is sharing them with everyone. So like if I could, I would bring you guys like food every day. And I'm pretty sure you guys would gain like 10 pounds like by the time some of this is done. But it doesn't matter. And then if you're not like, you know, because I'm not like, you know, we started on Bobby Flay, Paula Dean or whatever, you, your, your food will like come out all ugly or something. So that doesn't matter. I think like, that's cool. As long as it tastes good, you're like good. Oh, wait, our cookies are ready. <laughs> 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 chocolate chip stuff. Oreo stuff, chocolate chip stuff. And so I hope you guys will enjoy and try to make some yourself one day. And don't forget to share because that's the best part of being.
It actually exists. Let me have one. <laughs> Those are huge cookies, boy. I told you. You only had to get two. We should have had the people who made the sandwiches go first, and then the people who were doing the cookies last. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if anybody's doing that. Hey! You didn't get one? I'm okay. Thank you. All right, Ace, I think uh, you've got a funny twist on the opening. I thought that worked pretty well. Oh, thank you. Uh, and you know, your goal for the speech is clearly set up. Um, I like the fact that when you're thinking about uh, the audience while you're speaking, and it's not just focusing on doing the uh, activity, getting the cookies all put together, that kind of thing. Uh, there, was a, there was a good line at one point. I'm trying to remember what it was. Dang it. Oh, I know what it was. I was scooping out the ice cream kind of things. Oh, you know, I, and you tell a little joke there. And I like that because it shows that you are really engaged with the audience and you're trying to focus on them, not just on what you're doing. And that's one of the things that makes it more of a speech rather than just watching, you know, somebody doing a recipe on uh, YouTube. <coughs> Your eye contact, I think, is good most of the time sometimes you have a tendency to kind of look over to the side when the visuals are up on the overhead or on the screen there you start talking a little bit sideways and not engaging the audience as much but that doesn't happen all of the time and most of the time you're facing us I thought you were pretty consistent in your pacing you don't let things lag while you're speaking which is uh, uh, which is nice everything of course was very well planned so it all comes out very smoothly and effectively and people can see what you're talking about I like the way you integrated the uh, visuals that you had on the table along with the material on the uh, screen. Although the material on the screen, the first list of ingredients, seems like it ought to be organized maybe into sections about how they're mixed and you know, which goes in which bowl and then how you mix them together. That would have made a little bit more sense. That's just a minor quibble. Uh, everything was really prepared and I like the fact that you had a nice clear exit line. That you know really rounds it off nicely. Thank you. <laughs> and apparently the cookies are good too. I have to try it. Okay, it's a chocolate chip Oreo stuff thing. Mm -hmm. Way too much chocolate, but really good. <laughs> All right, Maggie, you are up next. Are you going to use the um, screen? Okay. <laughs> How can I have some more if I haven't had any yet? Yep.